Hey everybody, Dato Joy here with another Dragon Ball Fighters themed video. And this time it's going to be a short but very important video. Now a lot of you in my comments section have asked me about manual combos and how to perform them. Thankfully Bandai Namco scammed those PS4 players by giving them the online matches only. <laughs> Losers. Us Xbox players get to play around with these bots. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to teach you the first manual combo you should attempt to learn during your time with Dragon Ball Fighters. So you'll see while I'm loading in here, because I don't get to pick the characters I play with, I got pretty lucky and got Beerus, Vegeta, and Goku. Now, the combo I'm going to teach you is so important because it relies on universal fundamentals that every character in this game has. So basically what that means is that if you learn this combo, you'll be able to perform a decent combo with any character in the game regardless of who they are. And yes, these combos do more damage than auto combos, and they also serve the purpose of teaching you the fundamentals so that you'll be able to build your own combos in the future. So now that we're all loaded in, keep in mind that I've never played Beerus before, and watch the combo I'm able to perform using only basic fundamentals. Okay, so now that you've seen the combo in one piece, let's talk about what these fundamentals are and how you can employ them in your game. So let's start at the beginning. You'll see me start with a light and then transition into a down medium, into a standing medium, which you can jump cancel out of, light, medium, another jump cancel, another light and medium, a smash attack, which I can follow up with a homing dash or super dash, and then a light, a medium, and then a heavy attack to bring him back to the ground. Okay, so you see it's a very simple combo. It doesn't do that much damage, but it also doesn't take any bar and it does more than an auto combo. But why is it so important that you learn this combo in particular? Well, it's like I said earlier. The fundamentals that you learn in this combo can be used when tackling bigger and harder combos. Jump cancels, for instance, when to smash and when to follow, when to use your dash. You can even throw in some assist here to get really optimal. Think of this as your gateway to real combos. By doing this, you'll be able to recognize parts of combos without looking them up, and you'll be able to visually tell what the person is doing. Here's Beerus' auto combo and how much damage it does to compare. But like I said, this combo is also pretty universal. So now I'm gonna show me you doing it as Vegeta. Again, same principles here, doing exactly what I did as Beerus, but this time adding a vanish and a snapback. So you can use it to get in a character that they might have swapped out with. Here is me adding on a super to the combo, So basically guys, just mess around with this, see what you can perform with this combo. A lot of the fun of fighting games is seeing what you can figure out for yourself. So when the full game comes out pretty soon, go into training mode and try this out for yourself, and play around with it, see what your favorite character is capable of. If you discovered any manual combos that you really enjoyed performing during the open beta, I would love to hear about them. So please feel free to share them in the comments below, I'll be down there as always. And while you're down there, if you like the video and enjoy the channel, make sure to press the like button and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.